What is going on guys? I am back with part three for this tutorial on how to build this craftsman style house. And in this video, we're gonna be finishing the main exterior of the house, which includes the front and back porch. And we are also gonna be doing the landscaping around the house. I went ahead and gathered up the blocks we're going to be using for the front and back porch. So I have some pillar quartz blocks, cobblestone slabs, andesite slabs, quartz slabs, quartz stairs, blocks of quartz, and then I also have some dark oak planks, dark oak fences, dark oak wood slabs, oak leaves, sea lanterns, jungle trap doors, and iron trap doors. So we're going to start by doing the front porch first. Make sure to have your pillar quartz blocks. I'm going to head on over here to the right side lined up with this pillar. And you want to skip over three grass blocks, kind of like going towards this orange concrete. So we have one, two, three. So you want to make sure you're on the fourth block, you could place a pillar right there. So you're right on the edge of the shape for the house. And then you're left with three spaces in between these pillars. Let's go to the left of that pillar and skip over six. One, two, three three four five six so now on the seventh block you're going to place one we're going to skip over another six and then on the seventh block place one here skip over six more and you should be lined up with this other pillar here so we have four in total let's now bring these up another seven so that in total they are eight in height so one two three four five six seven bring all of these other ones up okay so now they are all eight in total so it looks like that now let's go ahead we'll switch to the quartz stairs i'll head on over to, over to the left in between these pillars we're going to place upside down quartz stairs in between all of the pillars except for the middle section here where the door is. So for this section and then for the three spaces here. Alright, now what you could do is we'll go ahead and have an upside down stair there and there and then we'll just put a slab in the middle. Here we'll have a stair on each side and then a slab and then two stairs in the middle. We'll skip this space. We'll do the same here. So a stair, slab, and then two stairs. Then here, a stair on each side with a slab. Let's grab our dark oak planks. We'll fill in all of this space here in the middle. So just these three layers. So this is one. And then the other two layers near the house. And then for the empty space in between the rest of the pillars, which are lined up with the door we're gonna grab our dark oak wood slabs and we're gonna have them right here in between the pillars and just to get it out of the way let's delete this andesite here we'll switch that out with dark oak planks and we'll go ahead and do that for the back as well like that let's head back up to the front so this is what we have so far and now we'll start doing the roof and then after that we could just head on to the back porch so now that we are going to do the roof let's switch to our quartz stairs we want to make sure that we are on the top edge lined up like with these pillars so around the top edge of these pillars here we're just going to have some upside down quartz stairs in between all of the spaces and now for all of this empty space within the stairs, you can switch to your full blocks of quartz and fill all of this in. So you're left with one space in between the quartz and this window. Okay, now after you fill all of that in, that's gonna be like the ceilings for the front porch. Let's then switch to our quartz slabs. And we'll have a layer just right underneath, whoops, right underneath all of these quartz stairs. All right, so it looks like that. 
And now, continue with your quartz slabs. We'll go right up against the stair here at the left where this roof is. We'll connect it. And we just want to wrap around a layer of quartz slabs until we are lined up with this pillar here. So we're going to go here. Make sure to just overhang it right along that pillar. And then just wrap it around until we meet up with the roof here. Okay. Now, for this middle section that we skipped, let's add an extra layer on top of that last slab that's lined up with the pillar. Then you could go up on this top one, place two, two here, go up again, place two again, and then leave it off with two side by side like that. So basically like two full blocks of quartz side by side. Behind that, where this empty space is, switch to some full blocks of quartz and we'll fill in four. All right, now let's switch to our quartz slabs. We're gonna go right here. We'll delete this stair, make it so that it looks like it's a full block and then we'll bring it down here. So it looks like there's two full blocks of quartz. We'll do the same here. So delete this, make it a full block and then a full block underneath that. So it looks like that. Let's do the same on this side. So we're gonna go here. Basically, just like add two full blocks of quartz, actually. So you could delete these two full blocks of quartz. Now, we are going to be hanging some bushes here with some fences and stuff. But for now, we'll leave it at that. Let's do the roof. You could grab your cobblestone or andesite slabs. Remember, if you don't have the update, you probably don't have the slabs. But if you do have the update, I'm just going to first start with my quartz or my uh, andesite slabs. And we got to see here. Yeah, we'll bring this across, and we'll meet it up right... Wait, hang on. How is this supposed to be? Oh, I totally forgot. This isn't supposed to connect here. That's only the back porch. So for this, we'll delete it until we're just overhanging by one right there. So we'll do the same here. It's not going to be pushed back. We have it overhanging like this. Switch to your quartz slabs. We'll place two here. Then two here, two here, and then two here. I think that is good. Okay, so how it is right now is how it should be. So I'll do it one more time on this side. We have one block overhanging here. Then we go behind it. We'll add two like that. Two here, two here, and then two here. Okay, for some reason I thought it connected to that, but that is only the back porch. The back porch is all like flat. Now... For this space here, switch to your blocks of quartz. We'll just fill it in two like that. And then two over here. So from the side, it looks like this. Alright, my bad. I thought it went back, but it arches up. That's kind of um, a little craftsman style house design. That's why I left it like that. So now you can switch to your andesite slabs. We'll start here and connect these two slabs. So we have just a strip right here. Not on top of the edge though. Let's go up another layer. We'll place two here. Is that we'll curve it so it meets up with this other slab. We'll go up again. Do the same. Whoops. Do the same thing. Like that. And now we have one more layer. So we'll go up again. Bring it across. And then we'll meet it up with the two center points here in the middle. So we'll do the same thing here. And then bring it across to the other side like that go down just follow along so that you're basically connecting all of the andesite slabs with the edges of the quartz slabs so we have this last layer all right so now that is done you can then switch to some cobblestone slabs remember you don't have to do this but to add a little bit more texture to the roof i'm going to delete some holes here and we're going to fill in all of the holes with the cobblestone All right, I just about got it all filled in. So it looks something like that. Just add some texture. Okay, so now I believe that is it for like the main part of the porch here. So now let's start adding our lights. So I'll just uh, push all of this up here for now. And let's actually just grab the dark oak fences, the oak leaves, the sea lanterns, the jungle trap doors, and the iron trap doors. So we'll go here 
and I'll place them I'll place one right here so we'll actually fill in this space so that no light shines through the roof and we'll have a sea lantern there I just left two spaces we'll do the same on this side so full block of quartz or whatever block there to cover it up and then a sea lantern two spaces again and then I'll have one here and one here so block of quartz and block of quartz and then a sea lantern we'll cover all of these up with iron trap doors so they're all four blocks apart okay so that should be enough light and now let me actually just get rid of this because I have two now let's start hanging down the bushes so you could grab some dark oak fences we'll just place one right underneath those full blocks of quartz that we brought down then you can have an oak leaf right underneath that fence and then you could grab it some jungle trap doors and we'll place it on the sides to just cover up all of these to cover up the uh, bush so like that and then for the last one we'll just have it like that right underneath so let's do the same here and then right here just have them right underneath so there we go that is i think that's basically everything for the front porch so we have that all done so it looks like that now we'll head on to the back porch and we'll do this one and then we'll start doing all of the landscaping so now i'm at the back side of the house i gathered up all of the other blocks that we're going to be using so i still just have the dark oak planks oak fence oak leaves and the jungle trap doors in here everything else i brought down we're not going to be using any of these here anymore so first just to get out of the way let's grab our dark oak wood slab and we'll place one two three four five six so it's like a step down so this isn't going to be like an actual porch, it's kind of just like a covered patio space, basically. Now let's switch to our pillar quartz block. We'll head on over here to the left. And we want to make sure we're lined up with this pillar. We'll skip over one, two, three, four. So we're on the fifth block. So we have a four block gap here. At the front, we only have three. Let's skip over to the right six. One, two, three, four five six so we're on the seventh block place one there skip over another six then on the seventh block one there and then just keep skipping over until you're lined up at the edge here where the corner is let's add another seven layers on these so they're eight in total one two three four five six seven Okay, so now they are all eight in total. Next, let's switch to our full blocks of quartz. We'll go right in between all of the pillars and just add a layer like this. And then you wanna go on all of this space on the inside and continue adding your layer. So these are gonna be the ceilings. Once again, we just have one block of space in between the quartz and the window right there. Okay, so it, now it, you can switch to your quartz stairs, and now we're going to be connecting it to the roof. So you have these upside down stairs, we're going to continue with some upside down quartz stairs until you meet up at the edge here. We're going to fill in the corner with a slab, then continue along to the other side until we're on the edge of the pillar again. Then a slab here in the corner, and then some more quartz stairs like that. Now, let's continue with our quartz stairs. We'll have them upside down in between all of these pillars. Now, after this, you want to switch to some quartz slabs. We'll add a layer right underneath those stairs. And then, the last thing we're going to be doing, you can switch to your quartz stairs. You should be left with half a block in between these stairs and these slabs I'm about to place. So we're gonna have a stair there and there, and then two slabs in between them. So it looks like that. 
Let's do the same here. So we're going to have a stair, a stair with four slabs in the middle. We'll do it here. And then just for the rest of the other spaces. So this space and then the four block gap on the side. All right. Looks like that. Let's go ahead and add our lights. Actually, we'll do the roof next. So we'll start with the cobblestone slabs. We'll place a layer right around the edge of the quartz. So it connects to the roof. Wrap it around, then connect it back to this part. Like that. Let's go right next to it and add another layer. So there's gonna be two layers side by side. You then want to go up half a block and add another layer again. And then right next to that, another layer. So it's two side by side. And now you just want to go up one more layer and do the same thing. So we're basically just filling in all of the rest of this space. All right, so this is what the back porch is looking like so far. Kind of like a little covered patio space. Let's now delete some holes filled in with cobblestone slabs to add more texture then we'll do the lights in the ceiling of this porch and then we'll head on to doing all of the landscaping all right i just about got the texture done so there we go looks like that make sure i did it all Okay, now let's go underneath, add our sea lanterns. So we'll leave two spaces here from the side. We'll place one here. Oh yeah, first let's add a block. Oh, hang on, can we? Okay, we actually can't add a block. All right, so we're just gonna leave this. We have a sea lantern there. Then we'll have one here. Then right here. And then here. Cover all of these up with iron trap doors like that so there we go i actually believe i had them back here so i could have the full block and then the sea lanterns i'll go ahead and do that so we're going to push them more towards the house so that there is no light shining through the roof because if i left it like it was there's like you can't really tell but if you made your world night you would see random light shining through the roof which is just not normal so we're going to push these back just more towards the house so we could add that extra block. But then there's still going to be light. Oh, wait, no, there's not because we're going to cover that up. Okay, so yeah, we'll push this one back as well. Then cover all of this up. Fill this in with the sea lanterns and then cover them all up with iron trap doors. So we just simply pushed them back more towards the house. Simple fix. Okay, now that is going to be it for the main exterior of the house. So if that is all you want, you don't want anything else, then, well, if you want the interior, then you're going to have to, we'll be doing that too. But for the main exterior of the house, that is going to be it. Now we're going to head on to doing all of the landscaping around it. Okay, so we're going to start by doing the garden areas. So I have some spruce wood blocks, stone pressure plates, podzol, and coarse dirt. So I went ahead and marked out how the garden areas are going to be. So I'll start over here at the left. You can switch to your spruce wood. And you want to make sure you're lined up here at the corner of the house. And you just want to start by deleting two blocks here. So I just marked out the grass, but you're just deleting one layer of grass. Then you could go diagonal, cut out one. And then we go diagonal, like from the corner of that, cut out two. And then we have one. And then we have two. One, two, three. One, two. One. And then we have two here. We go back in, we do three. Go back in, do three. And again, do two. And then we have one here and then we're left off with two so that we are lined up here with this pillar you can then fill in all of these empty holes with some spruce wood blocks facing upward 
and I'll go up above so you can count the blocks. Alright, so it looks like this. Feel free to pause the video if needed. Now, for these spaces up here, we're just going to make sure that they're elevated by one block. So all you're doing is placing them. I have to delete this dirt that I placed, but you could place one. And then we have one, then one, two, three, then we have two, one, two here. And then we're left with one right up against that pillar. So it looks like this. Let's go to the, oh wait, actually I'll go up above so you could count it. You could see it. Now I'm going to head on over to this side. We'll start with the outer shape and then we'll do the inner shape. So make sure you're lined up here with this pillar. And you could cut out two. Go over, cut out one. And then we have two here. Then we have three. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we have two, one, two, three. So we have two, one, two, one, and two. And you're left off here, right along the corner of that part of the house. Now let's fill all of this in with spruce, spruce wood blocks facing upward so you could count the blocks. Okay, so from up above, it looks like this. Now for all of these blocks up here, remember they're going to be raised. So they're going to be just like right on top of the grass. So we're going to place one here lined up with this pillar. Then we're going to do two. Then we have three. Go back in, do two. Then we have one, two, one, two, and one. So from up above, this is what you should have. All right, now you can switch to your podzole and your coarse dirt. Actually first, let's cover up all of these blocks of wood with some stone pressure plates. All right, now let's switch to our podzole. We'll fill in the raised areas first, since it's a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna fill all of this in. And then I'm gonna go back, cut out a bunch of random holes, fill it in with coarse dirt so it adds some texture. All right, let's fill this in with coarse dirt. So it looks like this. Let's head on over to this side. We're going to completely fill it in with podzol again. And then go back and fill it in with some texture for coarse dirt. Alright, now after you do the raised garden areas, it'll look like that. Okay, now let's cut out all of this grass and obviously the concrete and we're going to fill that in once again with podzol and uh, some texture with the coarse dirt. So first, like I said, let's just cut out all of this grass. So you want to make sure to also get right underneath the court stairs where the front porch is too. So I'm going to go around within the shapes, cut out all of the dirt, fill it in with podzol and coarse dirt. We'll do the same to the other side as well, and remember not to forget underneath those court stairs where the front porch is. Alright, I just filled in all of the space for the gardens, so it looks like is that. Now before we do all of the flowers and stuff, let's do the pathway which leads up into the house and we'll do the lines of, as you can see, the green and lime terracotta to act as mowed grass. So let's just put all of these blocks up here. You could grab some gravel, andesite, cobblestone, stone buttons, lime terracotta, and green terracotta. All right, I'll just go ahead and start with the andesite. We'll do the path here first. 
make sure you're lined up with this one block here where the garden is you could cut out four blocks you could go in cut out three whoops that was four so go in cut out three go in again cut out two in one more time and cut out two so you deleted that one block where the shape is let's go on this side we'll do the same thing so we're going to start here cut out four go in cut out three go in cut out two go in cut out two again let's delete all of that dirt within that shape we just cut out and now after you cut out all of this dirt as well as the orange concrete here or whatever you used let's fill all of this in with andesite first we'll go back cut out a bunch of random holes and then fill it in with some gravel and cobblestone and then i have some stone buttons just to add a little bit more all right so now i'm going to cut out a bunch of random holes and we'll start by filling these in with cobblestone and then we'll go back and fill in the remaining holes with gravel all right so i filled in all of that space so it looks like this now let's add just a couple buttons here and there so it just adds a little bit more to this path And I would say that's pretty good. Maybe one here in the middle. Okay, so we'll leave it at that for this path. Now we're going to be using our lime and green terracotta, and we're going to start doing the mowed grass areas. Okay, I went ahead and just marked out how I'm going to have the yard with some dirt. So what I'm going to do is just start over here at the left side. I'm right on the edge of these two blocks that we have for the garden. And I'll start out by deleting five blocks here. And then you could go in and delete another four. Go in and delete three. Then we have two here. One. Then two. Then four. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, doesn't have to be exactly like mine, but that's something like kind of how I'm going to have it. Let's head on over here. I'm lined up with the edge of the house again. We have two, the two blocks that we cut out one, two, three, four. Go in, cut out three. Then one, two, three again. Then we have two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now let's finish deleting all of the rest of the grass within that shape that we just cut out. So all of this space here is that we'll start by using our lime and green terracotta. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out all of that space. You can then switch to some lime terracotta. We'll start with that first. I'll head on over to the left side. So you could either have the lines going back and forth like this, or you could have them going back and forth like this. So I'll go to this side. You could see how I originally had them like this. So they're just like on their sides. So you could have them in the other direction. So I think I did it like that over here. I did it a little bit different over here but then on this side as you can see they're like going up and down in that direction so you could either have it like that or like i have it here i'll go ahead and do it this way so i'll just start i'll start over here so i have my lime terracotta we'll place just like two side by side like that we'll switch to the green we'll place another two rows back to the lime another two rows next to that and then the green so you can just keep doing this pattern back and forth until you have all of this space filled in and we'll worry about deleting all of this uh, orange concrete for the shape we'll do that last 
So I'll go ahead and just finish doing these patterns. I'll do the same for the other side. Then before we do all of the flowers and stuff, we'll head on to the backyard and do everything. We'll leave, we'll do like all of the flowers and all like the actual landscaping last and then we'll delete the orange concrete. So we'll do all of like the main landscaping first. All right, so I filled in all of the space with the lime and green terracotta, so it looks like this. So now we'll head on to the backyard. We'll do, we have, let's see, we have a pool area over here. Then the rest of this is just like a yard, and then we just have a little landscaping area there. So we'll start by doing, uh, well, we'll start by doing the shape of the pool, and then we'll do all of the texture around it, then we'll do the yard and the landscaping. So let's get on to doing that now. Alright guys, I went ahead and just marked out where the pool is going to be. So, we're going to pay attention to the house right here. And we have this block. It's two spaces away from the house, and it's lined up right here where this gray concrete is, right on the edge of the uh, pillar quartz. So we're lined up here. We skip over two spaces, and then we placed three here. So one, two, three. We're going to carve that out. Two spaces right on the edge here. Now let's go to the left, we'll cut out two, then one, then we have two, and then three. We go back in, we cut out two, then we have one, two, three, three, then three again. Go back up and in, do two, then one, two, two, one, two, one, two, one, and two. Okay, now let's fill in all of that space with some, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, grab your smooth stone, some chiseled quartz bricks, and that's it for now. So you're gonna fill all of these holes in with the smooth stone. Oh, by the way, once again, if you don't have the updated version, of minecraft because i think this is another updated block feel free just to use whatever block here you want you could just use these smooth stone slabs that is up to you or you could just maybe have some white concrete here but now let's go ahead and start cutting out all of this space within this shape so we'll start here we'll just like cut out two we'll cut like bring it down two layers and you don't have to have this exactly like mine but i'll bring it over until we are right around here like that so now you can fill this layer in with chiseled quartz blocks so this is just like the shallow end where you enter the pool like that now let's go down three layers and this is going to be the next layer for the pool So we'll keep pushing this back right along the edge here. All right, let's keep going. All right, I would say just a little bit more. So maybe like a layer right here. Let's see how that is. And then we'll do this part and then another section here. And that should be good. So that is going to be the second layer. So it goes down a little bit deeper. You could fill this in with some chiseled court or uh, what is this again? Chiseled stone. Yeah. Okay, so it's like that. Now for this last section here, we're going to bring it down one, two, three, four layers. Alright, I cut out all of the dirt for this layer. Let's fill this in with one more layer of chiseled quartz. Or, uh, not chiseled quartz again, chiseled stone. 
And then what we're going to do is delete all of that dirt that's on the side walls and we have to fill that in with the smooth stone. All right, so let's fill this in like that. You can switch to your smooth stone. We'll start up here. Just delete all of the dirt in the wall. We'll fill it all in. And I'll grab a bucket of water and we'll fill in the pool. Then we have the pool done. We just have to do all of the texture around it. All right, let's fill all of this in. I've missed that part. Make sure to get that. Okay, there we go. That is all done. It looks something like this. Now let's grab a bucket of water. We'll fill all of this space in for the pool. Then like I said, we have the pool itself done. Okay, so it looks like that. So we have the pool done. Now... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do all of the texture around the pool, then we'll do the yard here, and then the landscaping garden area over there. So let's get on to doing that- whoops, I just cleared all that. Well, I guess we don't need it anymore. But you could grab some gravel, indesite, cobblestone, and then the stone button. So we'll start doing the texture around the pool area. So something that I totally forgot to do is, is the fence for the backyard. So you could grab some blocks of quartz and some quartz slabs. I'm gonna head on over here to the left corner of this building, of the house. We're gonna place two blocks of quartz and then some slabs. Then, I guess I'll go ahead and count it. So we're gonna bring it back on the top edge of this first block of quartz with your slabs. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then we're gonna have two more blocks here and a slab. Okay guys, one thing I actually didn't notice when I originally did this, you don't need to do this, but the fence is supposed to be one extra block further. So you can see I added those final blocks. It should be on top of that strip of orange concrete, not next to it. So that last block that we just placed should be brought out one extra block. Now for this fence, I would have it some little things. Here, let's go ahead and add Go up another half a block and add this layer and what i would normally do is i would maybe have a little section like right here boom so it kind of looks like a picket fence like that but it doesn't come out even if i were to do it on this side and stuff it, it just didn't come out even i tried multiple different combinations so we're going to just leave it with some slabs it maybe just doesn't look like the best looking fence so if you could come up with a better design than this, feel free to go ahead and do it. But now I'm going to work my way over to the other side and we'll do, we'll just bring it over until we're lined up with the pillar for the other side of this house. So then on uh, the last block, so right here, we'll just have the blocks of quartz and then the slab again. So just basically, basically a bunch of slabs. Bring this along until you meet up with the pillar again. Actually right there, the two full blocks and then a slab. We'll add the extra layer and then we have the fence done. Now we can start doing all of the texture. I almost forgot about the fence. So bring this straight across. So yeah, this is a pretty big yard. It's bigger than the original and we added a pool. I think this updated version of the house is so much better. All right, so there we go. Now let's start doing all of the texture around the pool. We're also gonna have it underneath the little patio space there as well. All right, so let's start by cutting out all of the dirt right underneath this covered like patio space. So I'll just start here. I'll cut out all of the dirt in between the pillars. All right, and now let's do all of this other space within those spaces we just cut out so just right underneath this covered area all right now what we want to do after we cut all of this out we'll look at this pillar right here and we want to leave maybe just like two spaces so we're on the third block we'll cut out one then we'll do two then we have three 
Then, let's see, we'll do another two like that. And then we'll do one, two, one, and then one. All right, so as you can see right here, we started, we cut out from, we left two spaces here that we cut out one, two, three, two, one, two, one, and one. Now let's stretch this final block all the way to the edge of, just like within the edge of the fence. We'll wrap it around here until we meet up at the house. Cut all of this out. Right in here. All right, and then all of this space here. So now what we wanna do is just cut out all of the rest of this dirt within that shape we just cut out. And this is all going to be the random pattern of cobblestone, gravel, and andesite. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out all of that dirt within that shape we cut out. So it looks like this. Now I'm going to go back, start with my andesite. I'm actually going to grab a potion of swiftness to get it done faster. I'll go back with the andesite first and completely fill in all of that empty space we just cut out. Alright, I'm just now finishing up with the texture, just adding the rest of the gravel. So I'm going to go back with just a couple buttons here and there, but this is what it looks like so far. Let's go back, maybe just add a button here, right around here, right here. Um, up in this corner here, we're going to have a table with some chairs. So we won't add like too many buttons there because they'll probably just be deleted anyway. But let's keep on going around here. Don't like overdo it, but just add enough to where they are somewhat noticeable. So something like that, and that should be good. Okay, now before we do the table and the chairs over there, we're gonna have a grill right there as well, which we'll probably end up deleting that. Let's just delete that now. We're gonna have a grill right there, a little barbecue, a table over there, and then uh, over here we still have the yard with the trampoline and then the landscaping area. So for the rest of all of this grass and that orange concrete strip right there, we'll just cut it all out because that's what we're gonna do either way. So I'm going to grab my Potion of Swiftness, I'll start right here, and we'll just go right around the edge of the fence, and then we'll work our way towards the house right here. Let's delete this little part of orange concrete as well. Let me grab the grass block, we'll fill that in. Oh, whoops. So now all of this grass here, and the rest of this orange concrete, we are going to be deleting. So we'll go right around here right along the edge of this texture. So all of this grass here and there, we're gonna be cutting out. So let me just go ahead and do that. All right guys, I just about got all of this dirt gone. So there we go. Now we'll add the lime and green terracotta for the yard. So we'll just get rid of all of this because we don't need it anymore. We might need the potion. But then let's grab the lime and green terracotta. We'll grab the spruce wood, the stone pressure plates, and then the coarse dirt and the podzol. All right, guys, I marked out where the garden area is going to be. So this corner right here is going to be the garden area. Everywhere else is just going to be lime and green terracotta. So you can switch to your spruce wood, make sure you're lined up with this pillar here in the corner. And you can just place two blocks of spruce wood, then we have one, then two, then we have three here, then two, one, two, and then we leave off with three. So I'll go up above, you can count the blocks, pause the video if needed. Now I'm going to cover these up with some stone pressure plates. And we'll fill in all of this space with a layer of podzol first. Then I'll go back with some coarse dirt and add the extra texture. Okay, I'm finishing up with this area. There we go. 
Now I'm going to switch to my lime and green terracotta. I'll start with the lime. I'll go over here, right up against this stone. And I'll actually grab a potion of swiftness. We'll place a strip of lime terracotta first, two side by side. Then we'll switch to the green and do the same thing, just two side by side. So we'll just keep doing that pattern until we have all of the rest of the space filled in. So it's similar to what we did in the front yard. Alright, I'm finishing up with the lime and green terracotta. And there we go. So this is what the backyard looks like so far. So we're going to have a trampoline right there. We have to do all the flowers in a big tree right there. And then a table over there. We have to do the flowers in the front yard. And oh yeah, and then a grill there. And then we are done. We'll head on to the interior in part four. But let's go ahead. Let's see what we got here. We'll just clear everything. And we'll grab all of the necessary blocks that we're going to be using for the rest of... Uh, for like everything else that we have to do before we end up doing the garden areas So I gathered up the blocks we're going to be using for the trampoline and the table sitting area over there So I have some quartz stairs blocks of quartz string white carpet red carpet gray carpet diorite walls and end rods so we'll start by doing the table sitting area over here all right, so I'll start with the table. We have our full blocks of quartz. I'm gonna place four maybe right around here. We'll place two on that side. We gotta delete the stone button and place another three there. So we made nine in total. Let's have a quartz stair on each side, like that. And then let's grab an end rod. We'll place one here and then one on top of it. Now let's add some string just on top of the table for now. And then we'll add another layer right on top of that layer of string. Okay, let's then have maybe just like a white carpet here. So we'll have three in total right down the middle. We'll have some red right along the sides of that. Let's delete this bottom layer of string so it's not on the table anymore. So this string here is just floating. Now let's go right up against the sides of those strings and we'll add a layer on each side. Okay, so I just went around and did that. Let's switch to the white carpet. We'll add three here and three here. And now let's bring it out so it overhangs around the edge, one block. So that is going to kind of like act as a little umbrella. So if you are sitting here and it's like maybe raining or something, which I don't think I would want to be out here sitting at this table if it was raining. But if you are, you have a little thing to cover up the table. So there we go. We have that little sitting area done. Now let's do the trampoline. We'll have it right around here in the middle. Make sure to switch to your diorite wall. I'll just place it maybe right around, I would say right around here. So we'll have a diorite wall. Actually, we'll bring it over right there. So I have a diorite wall there. We'll skip over two. We'll place one. We'll go diagonal one block. So we're on this one. We'll place one, skip over two, place one, diagonal one block place one, skip over two, place one, diagonal one block, place one, skip over two, and place the final one. So from up above, it should be a round shape like that. Now let's just add our string right on the ground. So we'll go in between all of these walls first. And now we'll fill in all of the rest of the space here in the middle. All right, I think I got it all. So now let's start with our white carpet. We'll go right around the edge like this. So we're gonna have three, actually no, we're gonna have four and then one and then four and one in a pattern like that. Like, so it looks like this. Now let's switch to our red carpet. Oh wait, oh no, we got it, we switched to our gray carpet. 
and the rest of this is going to be filled in. If you want to, you could add some slime. Oh, we missed a spot. If you want to, you could add some slime blocks under here so you could actually jump on the trampoline, but I normally just leave it as it is. So there we go. It looks like that. The trampoline is done. It's actually a pretty big trampoline. Uh, well, I guess if you're standing on it, it really doesn't look that big, actually. But yeah, there we go. We have that done. So now we'll, fin we'll leave it off with the grill right here and then we'll do all of the flowers. So we got the grill to do right here. All right, so for the grill, you could have some cobblestone stairs, walls, slabs, iron trap doors, some furnaces, and then just a regular cobblestone block. So make sure to start with your regular cobblestone block and we'll place maybe just two blocks right here so it's lined up with that window. You can switch to your cobblestone stairs. We'll place one up against the house like that. And then we'll curve it like this on the side. Let's have two furnaces for the remaining space there. Two cobblestone slabs. We'll have a cobblestone wall going up right there on the left. And then some iron trap doors which you have to place up against the uh, cobblestone slabs. Or you could just maybe crouch and place them. And that is it for the grill. Very simple. So now, the last thing I'm going to do, we could clear all of that. We have this garden area in the corner, and then we have to do the garden areas in the front yard. We'll start with these in the front. So, I'm just going to grab a bunch of random flowers. So oak leaves, actually, and then some melons, and then a bunch of random flowers of your choice. I would also recommend grabbing some, uh, actually we can't grab it yet, so just grab a bunch of flowers first. I'm going to start with the oak leaves. I'll head on over here to this back left-hand corner. And we'll just have a big bush right here in the corner. So something like that. Let's have another one. Maybe just right here in the front. Like that. And we'll leave it at that. We'll maybe have one more over here. So just randomize this, doesn't have to be exactly like mine. So it looks like that we have three over there. We'll probably do three more on this side. So let's do one here in this corner. All right, I think that'll be pretty good. Let me actually delete. Okay, that'll be good. Actually, I don't like how it's even. Okay, there. Now let's have another one right around here. Like that. And so I have one more here. Okay. So there we go. That is all done. Let me actually add one more there. Okay. So we have that bush done. Now I'm going to go through and just add a bunch of random flowers so i'll start with i guess the blue orchids first and then you can just place them like this go through with all of your other flowers and do the same thing until you have the majority of the space filled in we'll go back with some melons last that's actually probably too many okay and then we'll go back with the melons last we'll add those and if there's any more other space left over then we'll just grab some tall grass and fill in that remaining space is that what head on to doing the little garden area in the backyard which is actually gonna have a big tree which is why i wanted to leave that for last because it is a little bit different all right so i went through and did all of the flowers i would say that's pretty good now let's fill in some of the other spaces with just a couple melons here and there. Actually, that's too many right there. Let's do one there, one over there, maybe one here, and then one right around there. So four on that side. We'll probably do around four or five on this side. All right, and then maybe one more back here, like right around there. Okay, so there we go. Now, just to fill in a few of the other spaces, let me just switch out 
the um, melons for now with some tall grass and i'll just fill in not all of the spaces but just anywhere where it maybe seems a little bit too empty like right here let's just fill in this with some tall grass all right let's go down here we'll do the same thing just in a couple of the spaces all right let's go to this side i would say right here in this middle spot is pretty empty right around there right here and then back here and i would say that is pretty good so we'll see what it looks like so there we go we have the garden areas for the front yard done let's now head on to the backyard and i'll grab the melons again actually i'll just keep the tall grass for now but i want a bush maybe just like right around here up against the house so we'll do that now keep in mind we're gonna have a tree maybe like right around there so we'll leave that bush just where it is so just make sure that you have some space here for a tree okay so now i'm going to have let's actually add another bush like right here all right so now i'm going to just add a bunch of random flowers don't add as many since it's a smaller space so i would say that's about good with the blue orchids and now we'll switch on to the next flower all right so i have that done now let's just add some tall grass and some of the empty spaces keep in mind we still have to add the melons but since uh we have the tall grass already we'll just add them okay i would say that's pretty good now let's grab the melons we'll have one maybe like right around there we'll probably have three back here so one is there and one is there i would say that's pretty good now we have this oak leaf so we'll delete that i'm gonna grab an oak sapling and then a block of glass oh yeah and then um here let me get the block of glass where is it oh right there i don't know why they have this glass up here but then all of the other glass down here it makes no sense and then i'm also gonna grab some bone meal so we can hurry up and make it grow really quick all right where is the bone meal right here so let me save my game just in case if we don't get a tree that we want we'll be able to just back out and start over because sometimes it gives you a small tree that you maybe don't want but i'm gonna place the sapling right around here and then i want a uh, glass block so it's like up in the air in the corner from the sapling and then we just got pretty lucky we got a big tree on our first try if you don't get a big tree feel free to just like make sure to save your game or you could just delete the tree but if you do want to just back out of the game and restart make sure to save it and then you could just try again and keep trying until you get a big tree and it uh there's a higher chance like a lot higher chance of getting a big tree if you add that uh glass block let me just add some bow oh i can't add bone meal on that okay so there we go we got the big tree on our first try what I normally like to do is just grab the oak leaves and maybe patch up some of the uh, wood blocks so that they are not exposed. I don't know why. I think it just looks better just to do that. And then maybe just fill in some of the empty space. Maybe your tree doesn't look the best. This tree as it is kind of already looks pretty good. So I'll just leave it. Alright, so yeah guys, that is going to be it. We have everything for the outside done. Oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. Let's grab some sea lanterns. Actually, let me just grab maybe like andesite. And then we'll grab some sea lanterns and iron trap doors. I'm going to go behind all of these pillars here. I'm going to carve out two blocks. Add a sea lantern. Do the same here. Here. And then here. We'll switch out that dirt block with maybe just andesite. And then we'll add our iron trap doors right on the same edge, like same layer as the floor, the ground. Just to add a little bit more light here in the back where the uh, patio space is. But now that is going to be it. So we have the pool, trampoline, yard area, garden area with the big tree. We did the front and back porch. And then, oh yeah, I almost forgot again. Let me 
delete let me actually grab a potion of swiftness let me delete this orange concrete here right on the edge we're gonna fill in all of this space with just regular blocks of grass so let me go around and do this and then that'll be it for part three so we'll then be heading on to the interior in part four all right guys so that's gonna be it for part three for this tutorial on how to build this craftsman style house if it helped you be sure to please leave a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in part four later